Mario world. Huh. That background's neat. I like that one. Oh right, I forgot I uh, made I made everything weird. been a while since I played Mario World so I barely even know what's going on with this game. Hmm. I am amazing at, th at Three Door Monty. I need the hit, I need that shell to hit that, didn't I? I know it's Yoshi up there, but you know what? We just we just take that loss at this point. Silly lizard friend. Who runs? Not me. I don't run. I make happy accidents. Wait, what? That's not how this works. Uh, any of this works. It's not happy, but it is an accident. Uh, give me this just to be safe. There we go. Let's try a Yoshi. Hi, Farf. Who needs a raft? Definitely not me. Cool kids only. Things I never knew about, and then suddenly I do know about. Uh, after like, what, 20 years after the game's launch? Meh. All right, I forgot it took the bold bills turned into pigeons. Now that wasn't very smart, now was it? Yep. Well, Yoshi's Yoshi's 
Yoshi's dead. I'm probably dead. Man, this kickback. Okay, now I'm just being dumb. Spend an entire level on the back of Yoshi. Think I'm invincible. Huh. That just is an ill omen for what will be coming in the future. Cause like everybody in the grandma on YouTube, I too plan at some, at some point playing this game for Taya Tubbs. I just don't know when. Or if I'm going to play this or the Game Boy Advance remake. Doe. Ha ha. Expert Renewer. Hold on, wait for it. Expert Renewer. Da -da -da. Bad. I think one of these is a pipe downward. Oh. Wait, some of them are still bullets. What, so what sort of witchcraft is this? Hi, Shade. Nya. Hi, nya. Okay, Farf, take your time. It's okay, take your time. Man. That was one hell of a night for me last night. So, last night, last night, uh, late last night, after I had kind of finally decided to just do something besides sit around with my day, I played, uh, I was playing Monster, I was playing Monster Hunter with friends, and good lord, I had not heard so many Spongebob quotes back to back in my life. All right, boop, beep, bop. Oh, I've a mistake was made. Okay, mistakes were, were mistakes were fixed. You missed. You missed. I'm calling that a miss. Uh, good job, you hit. Oh, hubris. I see we meet again this day. You really like these these Koopas, don't you? <laughs> you know, it's fine. Builds character. As I proceed to do it again, immediately after yelling at myself for doing it. No, this is fine. This will just... Come with me. Don't you dare hit blocks I... I want to do the super special seeker world. Let me do special things, Kamek. Magic Koopa, whoever, whatever you identify as today. Sploosh. Yeah. There we go. All this fuss over a over a midway point and a and a one up. Me. Yeah, 
Don't touch. God, computer, computer really kicked back hard on me on that in that exact minute. Oh, I gotta say, I'm really glad. I'm really glad I found uh the. Uh, I'm glad I found my CPU for Hell Chief today, and bought all my other stuff. Cause like, I'm stream, I'm streaming super gosh dang Mario, but my computer's kicking back, uh, kicking back frames at me every now and again. It's getting a little annoying. Yep. I'll take that. Thank you. Is this one Wendy or Lemmy? Lemmy. Is this right in the front of the castle? Why did I question who it was? Found the red and green switches yet? Have you found the blue switch yet, game? Wait, what? What? Actually, blue switch isn't for another world yet. <laughs> oh yeah, there's that. There's that weird caveat to this game, where this is world four, just this area, effectively. <laughs> I didn't do the upper part first, did I? Oh well. You know what I'm going to do? I will find... I, I need a Yoshi to get the secret exit, don't I? Don't. Mr. Sawblade. Mr. Sawblade. Listen, I'm attempting a stunt no man should ever attempt. Multi-track drifting. I think my one platform is gone. Oh no, it's still out there. Multipass. Yeah, there's the Yoshi wings. Which would get me access to a Yoshi. Or would get me access, access to something. Also tricks. Oh, I can't do tricks. <laughs> well, there's the hubris shining bright. Let's try it again. I thought that, I definitely thought that would have been a, you know, go underneath the land masses. Oh well. We're just gonna hide down here. Okay, we're not. Hit. Watch out, ace detective moves. Oh, you totally can. No, you cannot. Not without Yoshi. <laughs> Maybe if you fly all the way over there. Oh, is that even possible for you to fly anymore? Maybe there's a maybe there's a feather power up somewhere along this junk. Huh. What well, do you know? Good game design. Okay. So here's the 411 with the 911 and the 512. 
We finished the level like normal. Then we either go get a Yoshi. Cookie Mountain. Infamous level. Uh, now the game plan's gonna be to go get to go get a Yosh and, and Cape. So what I'm saying is I'm just going, but I'm just going to the top secret area. And with Yoshi in tow, we go. We ride. Huh. You know, there's another thing that took me this long to figure out is that's Mario's shoes that are that red part on Yoshi. I'm slow. Very. Okay. So we will have to play the level semi-normal. But I know tech. Don't worry. I'm, I'm knowledgeable. I'm knowledgeable at this game. At least I think I am. Okay. Now we don't take the we don't take the wings. That's a bait. That wasn't enough height. Hold on. Yo. Okay. That's a secret. That's a secret exit that haunted me as a child. Cause I saw friends do this, but I never understood how to get how to get the soda lake. Which I think is like one or two places torpedo heads even show up in base in base Mario World. Yes, I would love fire. How did you know? Oh boy, fire! How did you know? It's my favorite. Hi, Ted. No survivors. <laughs> okay, I was kidding. Well... Uh, the cape may be lost to the wild. Never mind, it's here. So much torpedo, Ted. Hey! As I almost pre dropped the How did. Okay. Let's say, how did I manage to wrap the cord around my, around my ankle? And oh no! Star Road! I've been here before. Oh, this is all autumn themed too. Neat. Okay, right, Cookie Mountain time. 
Oh, you rat. You absolute rube. No. This is mine now. <laughs> Looking at chat, not paying attention to the field in front of me. That's mine. You can't have it, Mr. Perona Plant. have for whatever for a reason cookie mountain is like i don't know it's just because you know cookies but this level is always like this level is always brings back fond memories oh to the left hi porky puffer hi other porky puffer we can talk about this I don't know where I'm landing. Oh, I'm right at the midpoint. Nice. <laughs> Optimal even. Man, Nintendo really has been doing harm. Oh! Oh, how does this work? I forget how this works. Is it just you collect them all and you get something special? That's Oh, yeah, that is how it works. Can you just eat these guys? No, you cannot eat those straight up. Oh. I'm good at this game. Oh, well, I got all the I got all the, the Yoshi coins, the Durgan the Durgan coins. Only, only thing I regret is I hurt Yoshi in the process. Anyway. He's fine. Listen. It takes more than that to, to, to put Yoshi down. Go the other way. We're going for a low points run, except for Nox, I think I've done at least three bonus games. I don't know how many exits there are in Super Mario World, but I want to say, <clears throat> excuse me, I want to say that you can, you can do a low points run and still not get a bonus game while doing every exit, or doing every exit and low points. But that would require, you know, the most amazing immaculate timing and getting a single point, the bottom of the goal, the goal flag at the end of every run. Oh, but but a bridge, but a bridge. But a bridge, bananigans, bananigans, shenanigans. You're not allowed to have that anymore. I, how'd I miss? I missed a stationary target. I have a gift. Oh. Ha! Huh. What if I made a mistake, though? <laughs> what if I made two mistakes? Alright. Alright. 
Try again. This time with more gusto. More oomph. More chutzpah. Don't ever say chutzpah like that. It scares people. Ha! How'd I... F I don't... That was all luck. I could keep ahead to boot. Yeah, we're scrolling. Huh, I wonder if that's I wonder if that is actually how they intend you for to do that. Oh, there's my mushroom. Thank you. It's always a miracle to see me do that combo like it's always kind of a miracle to see me do that combo and then 10 seconds later go rush headlong into enemies thinking I'm fine I'm, I'm super freaking Mario hit I'm amazing ah oh, I messed up the multiplier Oh well, I still went up six lives in that level. Man. Combo! Oh, I did it again! I did it where I got all of the things! All nine. Have I become a prophet of this game? Uh, cheese bridge? No, butter bridge deuce. Who put butter on this bridge? I want to speak with their manager. It's slippery. Oh, that's mine. You can't have it. It's mine now. Well, that happened. Yeah. All right. Oh, f fart. Don't double fart. My power up. It's mine. We'll hop in. Oh, shoot. I was reading what you are saying, Shade. Look what you did. Hold on. Just... Come on, kid. Let's go to Butter Bridge. Like, I want to say, like, uh, freaking, so, like you're, like you're, like I'm following your scenario, Shade. Just like, let's go to Butter Bridge for for our set for our family vacation. Bye, Yoshi. I'm not running. I'm not running after you. That is a suicide mission. Come on, go across the bridge. We'll be safe, kids. I don't know, Dad. It's a little, it's a, it's a little warm out today, don't you think? Ah, nonsense. It'll be fine. Dad, I stepped in a puddle. How? There's no, it's not raining today. Oh. Inve investigations ensued on Butter Bridge as a family is, fo is found, mi is discovered missing. Sources are baffled as to the reason why, but but this reporter blames the fact that we built a bridge entirely out of butter, and thought nothing would happen. 
Back to you, Greg. Let's see. Now, I don't know if this is just a ROM hack thing or if this is a thing in the real game, but... Aha! False. Where am I? Oh, shoot. And <laughs> you... Boom. Well, all you're gonna get now, all you're gonna get if you do that is just a bunch of people hungry for, hungry for popcorn. <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm good. I feel like I've told that little. I feel like I've told that little that pseudo story before not really an actual story but that like occasionally I'll hit occasionally like I'll have a like I will not have it forever and then suddenly for like and it for like effectively a month at a time my body my body is just like I need popcorn give popcorn and I will go through so much popcorn ha amazing Hi, Pixel. How are you this evening, my friend? I suppose, not just directed towards Pix Pixel, but how is everybody this evening? I hope everybody's having a good Monday. Monday, Monday. Not to call the people out, but it seems like I feel like I'm the only person not playing f the Final Fantasy remake demo tonight. I'm doing cool. I feel like I had a, as prophetic as this might sound, I feel like I had a bit of a close, clo like, kind of like closed a chapter, or kind of closed a chapter on my book of life today. With uh, me saying, me being done with, hello? Me being done with my whole diet thing. Well, that's kind of been my big thing today, is just for me to say, yeah, I'm done dieting. Oh no, it's Ludwig von Beg. I called him Ludwig von Beethoven, didn't I? Hut. Hi. We need to fast this up quick, Ludwig, if you could just uh, do the thing. Oh gosh dang it, I scrolled him off screen. Heck yeah. Oh shoot. I had to process that for half a minute, Shane. It's like, cool, but is it? It's. But it's. It's winter. It's always. Oh, right. Different hemisphere. <laughs> yeah. Oop, wrong one. Yeah, that's kind of the funny thing, isn't it? You, like, not you're not necessarily complaining, but just uh, my word choice. Oops, my word choice of my word choice that I'm choosing of. Of just, you're over there complaining about the heat. I'm over here complaining about the cold. God, I wonder what the hell this summer is going to be like for me. Sorry. Yeah, you got, yeah, you're heading into autumn. And this is, today is probably going to be, today is like the coldest day it's going to be for the next week and a half or so. According to forecast. 
at, and I'm probably gonna get, I'm probably gonna get it wrong, but at a nice sultry four degrees Celsius. I feel like that's right. Maybe closer to three degrees Celsius. Because I know, because America being America and being the only one that uses Fahrenheit for the most part outside of some developing countries elsewhere. Like, like 32 degrees for us is zero for you guys. It was 40 today. So I, three to four Celsius, somewhere in that range. I don't know, I kind of do a two to one in my head sort for that, although I think it's close to like a three to one Fahrenheit to Celsius, something like that. I don't remember. I used to have the math for that memorized and then, and then I, and then I left school for the school year. I should do a Google too, instead of just pushing it up on you guys and put your golly away. Alright, two Celsius. Forty. Ah, I was actually lowballing it. So four to five Celsius. Yeah, like you said. I try. Yeah, it sucks a bit. And I have other reasons for being as cold as I am. That I'm gonna, that I'm trying to wean myself off the of same because I pretty much have spent nothing but the past friggin' five months talking about it. Bop. Wrong way. Bop. Give me that star. Oh, Yoshi ate the spring. Bye, Yoshi. Nice knowing you. I mean, it is universal. Universal thing to talk about. It's a it's a small talk initiator. It's a small talk thing, but it's also. You know, everybody hates making small talk because everybody makes small talk. Gee. Yep. I don't know. But I'm not good at big talk, so I do small talk. Yeah, yeah, ha, ha, ha. Haha! -ha, expertly maneuvered. Oh, well, that's not my that's not my exit. That's not my exit either. Oh, no. Shoot. Cool, backup's still there. Instantly lose it. People's champ. 
People's champ right here, man. Oh, why do you taunt me so? Please, Boo Cloud. Please. Eh. Damn. Um. Games a lot of people's lives. Uh. <laughs> you ever just see? You ever see someone just so immaculate a game? Hi, Giza. I figure. I feel like. Raid Pokemon have good IVs, just because they are difficult to find, especially sometimes they have difficult spawn rates. Like, I'm pretty sure if we, if we could have caught that Mewtwo, it probably would have been 5 out of 6 IVs. I think it's IVs? It's, it's not EVs! Internal values and effort values, okay. Listen, I've been, people have tried to get me to join them in competitive battling many times. And I understand a basis for what it all is, but bottom line, I'm dumb. <laughs> nope, can't go over. Um, I feel like the... If I remember right, this one is dumb where the secret exit... Or, yeah. The secret exit is just one door further back from the normal exit. I gotta move! Oh, don't worry about Pixel. If it makes you feel any better. Nice, it goes back. If it makes you, f if it makes you feel any better, the only thing you missed out from those raids were uh, Gen One starters, and even then, they have it. They have the game programmed just right, where Gen One does not, or where things that are not actually in the Galar Pokedex don't count against you for completion of that 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 Pokedex, like unlike how Gen 6 did it. <laughs> Just run Cinderace, lol. Court change. So yeah, uh, but anyway, no, the uh No, how they did the Pokedex completion, it was very smart for this generation. They did it with uh, Gen 7, too. At least with uh, regular Sun and Moon. Where complete you don't have to complete the National Dex to get the Shiny Charm, but you can complete things outside of the of the of uh, that region's Dex, and you get some boons. <laughs> uh, I have at least one of everything, so I'm good. Yeah, Mewtwo was literally like, Mewtwo was literally just a gold mine of items of, here's ability capsules and, here's ability capsules and bottle caps and you know the stuff that's hella hard to get. It was a, it was if you could beat it, you earned what it gave you. Swan dive. Yeah, it's not possible to coordinate a team. I will. I will. Uh, could. Words are hard for me today. I will agree with you on that front. <sighs> Excuse me. Oh. 
Amazing. Expert Mario player right here. I'm an A out of 10 Super Mario World player. Hey, chill. Oh, that'll work. Well, now I've just made him mad. Didn't get the one up for my effort. Like I told, like I did tell you guys about how people were beating it with Shedinja, and that Shedinja strat actually does work to an extent. Again, the keyword to an extent. Like you have to have people working with you. You can't use what you have to either. You have to coordinate not to have a weather team to kill the Shen Ninja. And the Shen Ninja just vanishes and comes back into reality and just does dummy damage. Just dummy thick damage. Okay, I know it's a pipe you can go in. Wait, I'm an agent. Is it still coming? Yeah, it's still coming. Oh! Oh, right, this level. This nightmare level full of parallax scrolling and upset mothers. Oh god. Don't ask why mom is my, my mom's upset. Would you stop playing with that radio, lad? I'm trying to get some sleep. Bam ba -da -da. Uh, I feel like I'm making a mistake here. Yeah, the mis a mistake was made. <laughs> it was working for about a second. And off it goes. Cape stays on. Huh. I'm not getting that feather, am I? I'm not going I'm not going for that e either. Hey, blue switch. All right, blue switch is out here. I totally space that this is where blue switch is. There we go. I think this level's just about over. Oh, sadness. Oh. I will say though, okay. I am very liberated. I'm very liberated this day by, from, I'm very liberated this day because I'm no longer confined to ha have, having to consume specific products. I went on grocery shopping today. I bought pretzels. I bought chips. I bought peanut butter. I almost bought ice cream, but I decided I wasn't feeling like having ice cream, which is weird. But yeah, I just... It's a nice feeling. That's all I'm saying. Stirring, it's just trying to stir this pot of conversation. Trying to make it not all dead air, me playing Moro. Just simple man plays Moro world. Does it, does it keep? Yep, it does. <laughs> yeah. Very clever game. Perhaps too clever, damn it.
Also, roommate went out and did. Also, roommate went out and did some uh, grocery shopping today. He came back with a freaking. Uh, he does a lot of his grocery shopping at Costco or. Uh, Sam's Club. Oh God, what, what do people have the most of? It's not. It's, it wouldn't be Kroger. It's not Kroger. Basically, any place that would sell. Oh right. This. Uh, bulk foods. I've never done this. This is terrifying. Oh, I'm here. Does the game literally just load you up with one-ups? Oh my god. I've never been over here. Oh, a Resnor. Huh. Anyway, as I was saying, my friend does, well, it's called Costco around here, but basically bulk food store, but they also, but Costco also sells bulk everything. <laughs> Oh no, it's Star World 4! And he <laughs> said, because I hate myself, and then he proceed, And because I hate myself, and he proceeds to pull out this bag that's like 150 fun-sized candies out of his car. I bought this, like, I just turned him and said, Good thing my diet ended today. Haha! <laughs> -ha! You fiend! I require a ride. Ride me. Damn. Give me a ride. Mario one uppy. Mario one uppy. Thank you. I can't get in that thing anyway. It's... You know, I wish I could tell I wish I could give you an answer. There it is. Oh shoot! Reaction timing. Can I get a ride? I'll pay you in back rubs. Got him. Got him. Boom to even. Alright. Anyway, I've already done a good chunk of the stage, so we just, we just fly. Whee! Uh-oh. That doesn't work. That doesn't work either. Ah, this works though. Okay. That's not gonna work. Shoot. Oh! I'll double shoot. Oh, triple shoot. Got him. <laughs> Good job, Chuck. Get star, fall down pit, mission complete! <laughs> star Fox fanfare ensues. It gets progressively louder. <clears throat> like the... Like the 100% accurate and 200% accurate mods for Rivals of Aether. Which, hey, by the way, I think that game is like a week from coming out on Switch. Get Rivals of Aether. If you want, like, something that's that's sma a Smash game but has a little more tech to it, or is a little more melee-like, 
consider Rivals of Aether. Yeah, no customs, which means you can't have Mario pissing. My sprites. There's too many of them. Yeah, I've got it on PC too. Haven't bought any of the DLC, but... Ah, you see... So you've seen the custom videos by Alfred. So... What happens when I say, Hamburger? Panic? Or challenge? <laughs> to face down. Okay, I am well aware of Golden Ronald. All right. Are you ready? One man, one desire. Lives. Okay, I got one life off of that. You ready for this one? Ha, Booski. Uh, problem. Booski. I also know of Mugen too, which, hey, by the way, I bring it up, I haven't really had a lot of downtime or need to watch much else, but if you ever have downtime and you need something just on the background while you're working on something, Salty Bet. Right here on Twitch. Or I guess they have their own website too, but Salty Bet, they literally just pull every Mugen character ever made and mash them together. And if you go on their website, you can literally, you can literally bet, you can bet fake money on them. I did a li I like when I first found out about back when I was still on a laptop and before I started making YouTube videos. I messed around with Mugen a little bit as well. And I found there are some strange mo there's some strange ones on there. But also some really fun ones. I think one of my personal favorite uh I'm not going to get around the rip band fish and get that cape back. I think one of my personal favorite, oh shoot. I think one of my personal favorite character, there was two characters actually I like to play a lot in, in, uh, in that game. And I didn't find out until later the origin of the other, of the second one. But one character I played as was a, was a Wario, but it wasn't, it wasn't like, you know, it wasn't the, the Wario that fits this style of Mario. This is like, Back when it was assumed Wario was a hulking eight foot behemoth, that Wario, and he had all the Wario, the super, all the Super Mario Land, or Super Mario Land three Wario Land power ups as some of his specials. Like I played that Wario a lot, and then later on, I can never remember. I think I can never remember it. I want to say she's a Kingdom King of Fighters character. But, uh, Jessica, I'm pretty sure it's Jessica, uh, a pugilist, if you will, a boxer, a street, a street boxer. I will look that up right now, actually, to confirm. Oh, I have this? Okay. Uh... Nope. That's probably Vanessa.
Yep, Vanessa. Now that I'm done looking now I'm done looking up names of a fight of a fighting game character I haven't done any fighting with in God knows twelve years now. But yeah, she was she she was oddly enough kinda like how Balrog is in Street Fighter where she has she has kick button inputs, but her kick button inputs don't kick, it's just a different type of punch. But she was much more agile. She was much more agile than Balrog. Eh, give Yosh. Actually. I was about to say, why do I need spring? And then I proceeded to destroy the, destroy the head. Yeah, well, that happened. Because, um... Back on top again with that. Now that I'm, now I don't have to do super try hard, sway try hard focus. But yeah, she was like, she didn't have like the sidestepping juke moves that come with boxing, the boxing stuff. But she did have like, she had like no special inputs actually. Not shoot. But yeah, she had like no special inputs. It was just a lot of buttons and either up or down. But she did have supers. That was my pipe up there, wasn't it? Oh shoot. But the, of course the only super I could I could very effectively pull off with her was the one where she just initiates the beatdown. Like it's basically Initiate super, she throws one punch. If it connects, it's just a flurry of blows. And then she goes into like a... She goes and does a move like this, and then just uppercuts the hell out of him, knocks him sky high. Uh, where is the key? Brain says there is key. Brain seems to be wrong. Kickfish. Okay, there is no key. Please don't. So we just go in the pipe instead. Ah, oh, but I need to... Dang it. We're, we run it back. That's not mine. Oh. <laughs> I I was running back for a two, and then the game is like, mm, nah, go away, both of you. Okay. Got to focus. Got to gamer up. No damage. And we take no damage by hitting all these, and then we take the top road. There we go. Hit. Uh oh. Go away. I must protect my bigness.
Interesting. It's always interesting when, that when like, characters, especially if they make two of the same mod, or two of the same character mod, or I guess character pack I, is, is what it's referred to, how they have interact interactions. Like, um, how... God, what is it? How the Homer Simpson character and Iori from King of Fighters have an interaction. Uh, Homer and Peter Griffin have an, have an interaction. And Peter Griffin and the giant chicken have an interaction. Trigger it. Ah, uh, gotcha. Sucker. Ow. And I only know that much to that extent because there was... I don't know if he still makes videos on on his, uh, like, Challenge Cup runs, but there was somebody back when YouTube used to be called Google Video who just uploaded videos of him completing completing gauntlets and seeing how far he could get in the gauntlet with uh, using Homer. Where it was literally do a fight... Recover a little bit of health back from the fight, but keep going in each fight, each fight uh, immediately afterwards. So again, I only know of that one because, again, that back in back in those old days, that was if I wasn't watching HCB the approach on John, I was watching those. Aha, you tried to trap me, but I have trapped you, jo Jotaro Kujo. Please no! Aha! I didn't panic for a minute. What are you talking about, panic? Hit. Oh. Well, my timing is off. And we're done here. Cause nine in the afternoon, your eyes are the size of the moon. And then I forget the words in this part here. Feeling so good, just the way that we do when it's nine in the afternoon. Hi, Mama Jelly. Oh, I popped my knee. Haven't you people ever heard of closing the goddamn door? I thought that was Fallout Boy for the longest time. That is Fallout Boy. Pretty sure it's Fallout Boy. They sound the same. Dinos! Woo. Oh God, I'm gonna remember that. Remember lyrics. I'm gonna read lyrics to that. Uh, hit, hit factor. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Oof. Oh uh, god, how's that how's that go? It's been so long since I've listened to any of my chemical romance. 
Yes, I am. Uh, yes, I am. Yes, I am. Uh, yes, I am. They'll ring around the ambulance like he never gave the care. So get the choir boys around you, it's a compliment, I swear. And I said, ashes to ashes, we all fall down, I wanna hear you sing the praise. I said, ashes to ashes, we all fall down, we got an innocence for days. I think it's how, I think it's, the, I think it's lyrics, I don't remember. Oh man, I mean, I already, I put the picture up last time. I can pull it up again because I don't think Keys was here. But I put the picture up last time. I was hella hardened to punk in high school. Wait, is that my chemical romance? Oh god. I thought it was uh, Rage Against the Machine that was reuniting this year. <laughs> Ooh. Ah, Fishing Boo. He approaches. I wonder if my, uh,. Friend, I wonder if my friend who got me into a lot of that music, uh, if she's aware of that. I should ask her. I should I should tweet at her after I'm done tonight. Maybe she does know, and she probably tweeted at me, telling me, saying, "Hey, scooter, it's happening." Hmm. Did Good Charlotte make any other music? Last I heard, they did. Uh, damn it. They did Chronicles. What was the last one? Good Morning Revival. I think that's the last album I remember by my or uh, by Good Charlotte. Yeah. Stop this. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna. I, I'm not gonna try and game her moment with this. I'm just gonna lure ghosts over to me. I said I'm gonna lure ghosts to me. Come, come, concrete boo, concrete angel, if you will. We're going on an adventure. It involves me, you, the letter Q, and two buckets of, of nail polish. Help. Stay. All uh, right. Not high enough. I think that's high enough? Yeah. Uh, uh, no, it can be. It can be. <sighs> it's very simple. I'm just going to take him to Washington, D.C. Don't ask, don't ask me questions of why I'm going to Lincoln Memorial, why I'm going to Lincoln Memorial with them, or, or why I'm taking the second bucket to the Washington pool. Don't worry about it. This just said, man paints the Lincoln Memorial's fingernails a bright shade of pink. Says, he needs to be fabulous. Come on. Okay. Shoot, how did this one go? I remember this one gave me a headache as a kid. I think the way I remember doing this was carrying the spring with me. This is a weird level, and maybe I could read the hint box and explain it better. Oh god! All I remember is I took the I grabbed the spring and took it with me, and it always made the trigger so I could do the loop to move forward. I could be wrong in how and in, in all this. <laughs> Tip. Okay, that's a Yosh. I don't want a Yosh. I crave power. <laughs> Listen, man. Today was a good day. Today was a good day. 
I finally handled some of my adult responsibilities I've been shirking off. Hell yeah, up on lives even. Oh, that's a baseball! <laughs> okay, actually read the hint. Here the coins you collect or the time remaining can change your progress. Okay. So the amount of coins you collect, not necessarily what you're holding. But for some reason, holding the spring seems to always give me the proper ending. This is a level that basically... Nice! This is the level that basically made like that when people... Alright, Kiza. This is the level that I think a lot of the uh, from hacking community... Like, fell in love with. Because it's just like, wait, these kinds of values can change levels? This changes everything. Okay. I missed the ju uh, jump. 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 Okay. <laughs> There's a chuck right there. Throwing baseballs. Oh, that's a baseball. That's still baseball. Hold on. I need to fix this. Remedied. Princess Remedy in a world of hurt. Haha. -ha. You have been bamboozled this day, sir. Yeah, I don't know what it is. It's always when I hold the spring, I get the secret exit. And that's forward progress. As far as I knew growing up, this is forward progress. Chocolate secret. Chocolate secret. Uh, uh. Eight out of ten. <laughs> nope, you don't have to tell me. I oh, know I'm stupid. You fool, you've powered me up. Now I'm a never ending can never end ending cannon of rage. Rage problem. Oh. This level. Like the level where you can literally just hold down and win. Guys, I'm winning the video game. Wait, before I go forward. Oh, it's not this one? I swear it is this one. Go away. Go away, there's science to be done here. It's not this one. Really, Chuck? There we go, handled. Don't ask how I came out ahead on that one. You're asking, aren't you?
But I felt good. All right, and this just leads straight to Castle Six. But why would we want to do that that way when we can do it the other way that I am not practicing whatsoever? Because I want to at least see all levels in this. Okay, so we ignore Spring. Spring Chan can go away. Spring Chan can go to hell. Go to hell and it dies. Worth it. Still worth it. Cause my feather is right my my steed my steed. I need my steed. Oh shoot, did I go too fast again? I think I went too fast again. Okay. Let's try this again. Okay, so let's wait until there's like 200 seconds left in the clock before I pres press the attack. Uh oh, nope, still going strong. Yoshi can go away for all I care. Okay, we wait. Oh, so you're hatching him. You have a, uh, f you have a female, f uh, not a female. Yeah, this is the way we need to go. This is the way. Oh no, the way. Help, the way. <laughs> okay. Uh, I didn't mean to say female. Female, I almost said female ditto, but it's interesting. Uh, so it's a Japanese ditto, and alchemy, gender of your choice. Alchemy did or alchemy, gender of your choice. Um, if you want a specific ability. The alchemy should be holding the destiny knot, and the ditto should be holding... Oh crap, what's the ditto supposed to hold? Actually, I don't think the ditto's supposed to hold anything. It doesn't need to hold anything. Anyway, moving on. God, it's been... Oh, <laughs> Aced it. Try it again. <laughs> um. Anyway, <sighs> back to what I was back to what I was trying to say before I flip myself up. I think I've told I've told the story many times to the point where it's a headache. But I'm just I'll give I'll put the skinny out there at this point. I did, I did Masuda, I did Masuda back in, yep, nice. I did Masuda back in Gen 6 for Froki. Uh, it's not that one? Okay, hold on. It is that one.
Okay, I don't want to go backwards. Back backwards is, is a trap. Um, anyway. Woo! Spooky. Right. This. Go away. Punk. There you go. That's secret exit. But yeah, I did that. I did. I did Masuna. Masuna chaining in Gen Six. I have two. I got two Frokies from that. One had. One had Torrent. The other had Protean. I kept uh, the Torrent. I kept myself. Cause that was my trophy at the end of at the end of all of it. The one with Protean is currently in the hands of Carbonimani 456. Granted, uh, provided he hasn't sold his copy of Pokemon X or Y. And let me tell you, it was. It was a solid week and a half. Not, gosh dang it, not turning off my 3D, not turning off my 3DS. A solid week and a half of just wake up, eggs, eggs, eggs. Go to close DS lid. Wake up, eggs, eggs, eggs. I want that. I want that. Uh, amazing. Uh, the person I was working with on that, uh, who wanted me to help with it, uh, Sefazen, Robert, I think, I think he's, I think a couple people here know, know of him, because he's actually had a hand in, he's actually had his hand upon a lot of people, he's got a lot of mutual friends between, in, in larger communities, oddly enough, though he himself decided not to pursue a, uh, video creation passion or anything like that, for the most part. Uh, he, he, he basically told me, he basically told me that, uh, turn, turning off the system would reset a counter, which would screw up the Masuda. But that's all I've got to go off of is his speculation. Also, let's hope there's not a ceiling here. There's a ceiling here. Yeah. I, and listen, I don't know if that's true or not. I couldn't tell you if that's the truth. If that's the truth or a lie, I almost died, or a lie. I I never did any shiny grinding for myself. I only did it for others. Hey, the thwimp is trapped. Missed the jump. Uh -huh, your trap, sir. Um, any other shinies I've gotten, any other shinies I've gotten, were obtained. Wow, I'm surprised I didn't get hit by that. Yeah, any other shinies I had ever obtained were through actual odds, not specific mechanics, just actual odds of finding them in the wild. Uh, shiny Rapidash, shiny Tangela. I think that's it. And I'll be honest, I only have those two to speak of because my dumb brain in heart gold cell silver days is like oh boy I can have a team of all evolutions this will be the best team ever 
Nothing will ever go wrong and I will and I can win fights with my friends using an all Eevee Luch team. I just have to level them up so they can learn some of their best moves. Right, Flareon, who learns Flare Blitz at level 77? Mount Silver was very, was very, was painted very many shades of red from the Pokemon slaughtered for experience that, that day. Hello, King. Uh, I don't think this one has a secret exit from, if, from what I remember seeing in the world map. But it does have my ultimate demise. Oh, they melted in the in the lot of chocolate fondue. Woo! Um, you you did move your Pokemon Bank to Pokemon Home, I'm assuming, right? Right, Jelly? Or did you stick? Well, it, did Bank get discontinued? Questions for now. Reaction timing, I have it. Well, that's unfortunate. I mean, if I may be honest with you, if I can be honest with you, Pokemon on Switch, I do enjoy the game. Like you guys were here for when I, for when I played most of it. Pokemon on Switch is a delight. I don't blame anybody who doesn't get it for one reason or another. I don't need that many lives, actually. I'm just going to blitz through this. Yeah, I don't blame people who don't, who don't get it for one reason or another. I'm not I'm not going to be the guy out here policing you saying if you're not a true Pokemon fan, if you don't play every Pokemon game. I skipped Gen 3. So, take that with a grain of salt. Oh yeah, and Pokemon Home does have a free function, but it's effectively two boxes. Oops, missed. Oh boy, look at this car crash coming along. Heck yeah, car crash. I thought it was 60 Pokemon, which is two boxes normally? I don't know. All right, go go off, go off, King. Get it, get a charge, Chuck Pet. Let me reposition my seat because my ass is sore. Yeah, like I think I said this in my uh, my top ten video when I put Pokemon in there, but I think I think for me. Uh, I like Pokemon Sword and Shield just because it kind of resonated. It kind of hit close to home for me personally just because, I mean, let's not lie here. I'm not young. I'm not old, but I'm not young. The games clearly were not meant for, are not designed specifically for me anymore. And I love the theming behind, behind uh, Gen, uh, Gen's 8 because it's just, the whole idea behind it is, or the whole theme behind it is, what do we leave the future, or who do we leave the future to, and in what shape? So I love the game because of that. That's the theming behind that entire game. Uh, this is a bad idea. <laughs> um. So what? It, what was it? I shouldn't say I skipped Gen Three. 
I skipped Gen 3 initially. And then... It was... And then, you know... Huh! Bad day. And then it was... Oh no, I am now internet funny. I am now internet funny man who records videos for the YouTubes. I guess I have to play Pokemon at some point. Ha ha he ha ha ha. I have to play Ruby. Yeah, I play Pokemon and I have to, I have to play... Uh, I play Generation 3. So... I have played every mainline Pokemon game, at the very least. Uh, but I will say... What's safe? Nothing. Good. <laughs> um... My brain will find words, just give me a minute for it to kickstart- for me to kickstart the engine that is my brain. I started. Uh, I played Pokemon when it first came out. At the young age of eight, I played Red and Blue. Both of them, actually, because my parents realized how obsessed I was with uh, with uh, with Pokemon, and it was like, oh, or they must have done some research or something. Because like, oh, there's only certain Pokemon you can get in one version of the game or the other. Let's get him the other version of the game too for his next birthday. So I had both. So I was one of those kids that had both versions, and then I had yellow as well. I mean, Kiza, I've only got one publicly. I should say I've only got one 4.99 tier emote because I don't have enough subs for other emotes. So you get, and only. So enjoy the, you. I'm done. I'm done with that bit. <laughs> Give me a mushroom. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. It's just a funny thing. I bought. I'll go. I'll come back around to the Pokemon story in a bit. But, like, I bought the button as a goof, as a gaff, as a joke. I bought it as a joke, thinking, oh, I'll use it three times in my life. And then I started hitting, and then I just one day on stream, I just... Not. And now it's kind of become a thing for me. So, we have the nut button, publicly available for anybody to hit. Um, but yeah, Pokemon. So, I had all three of Gen 1 games. I had Silver after that. And then... And then Pokemon stopped being cool. Yeah, at that point, Pokemon stopped being cool, so I had Generation 3. Alright, it's water. So, I, I skipped Generation 3. Can Yoshi go down there? Okay, I can't go down there either. Never mind. But yeah, I skipped Generation 3. I skipped the first set of video or the first set of games for Generation 4. Came back with Platinum. And that is the game I that is the, that is mm, Sword and Shield actually kind of come cu cuts a little close, oddly enough. But yeah, uh, Platinum is my favorite of the games. Sword and Shield is a very close second. And then I played Gen 5. I didn't play any of the post game because I it was tedium and I didn't want to deal with that tedium. Yeah, give me my Yoshi. Stop taking my boy away. Yoshi, settle. Mother hover. You know what? You can perish. I don't care anymore. Uh, anyway. But anyway, I did play Gen 5. I played both- I played both- I played both sides of Gen 5. So I have played Black and White and Black and White 2. Black and White 2 was only for- it was, uh, I only played it for YouTube, so. Black and 
but the for the black and white one the game's main mode was so good to me like the story mode was so good to me that once I had that final that final cutscene played out with N, I shut the D I saved, shut the DS, turned it off, and I never turned that copy of, Bla of Black on ever again. I did zero post game in that game because I felt like if I did, I would sully what I would sully what was left of the narrative. And then I. And then I did Gen 6. I played Gen 6 through and through. Tried to complete the Pokedex. Got about Pokeball Plus. I can talk about that in a minute. Um, so yeah. Then I played Gen 6. I tried to 100% the Pokedex. I got like, like I said, I got like 95%. And then I kind of gave up on that dream. Gen 7, I actually completed the Pokedex, which is amazing. Yeah, I... I 100%ed, or 100%ed Gen 7, at least the uh, Alolan Pokedex. Living Pokedex too, oddly enough. And now we're at Gen 8. Oh, I also played Let's Go. I played Let's Go on Twitch with you guys, with this thing. The whole, almost the entirety of it. That actually sounds interesting. Anyway. No, this is new. I bought this new. I bought this new and Mew is currently on my copy of Let's Go Eevee. Which, okay, that's an interesting question I want to ask anybody knows, because at some point, I'm going to play Let's Go again for YouTube. Don't know when, it's going to happen. I should, considering a Pokemon, I mean, the Pokemon Home free trial automatically travels from Let's Go, and I could fill up a couple Pokedex spots with that, but maybe in the future. <laughs> um... I don't remember if I... No, I don't believe I completed the Pokedex and Let's Go. I think I just got with um, what I could do in Let's, in Let's Go Eevee with some help from my... Uh, with some help from my... Uh, Pokemon Go account. I completed as much of the Pokedex of that and it's like, okay, that was fun. And I stopped playing after I completed the post most of the post-game stuff. Charlie! Charlie. Let me see your muscles. Anyway, I'm, I'm 90% certain it's supposed to go down. I'm paying attention to you guys. I'm not paying attention to my own life. Look at them shuffle. <laughs> Hit. Uh, thanks. Uh, no, I, if I do Let's Go again, I will, I'll do it on a second account, because I do have multiple accounts set up on my Switch. Uh, some of them don't have online, f online connectivity.
But the thing I was going to ask, and the thing that I kept keep sidetracking away from, is if I do do that kind of thing, does that make... Oh, am I backwards? I'm backwards. Huh. Uh, if I make a new account and play with the Pokeball Plus... Uh, I did this wrong. Oh well. I can fix it another way. If I use the Pokeball Plus to play, does it make it so I, do I give myself a another Mew on a different account? Or is it uh, or is it one Mew per Pokeball Plus? Dang it. Dang it. <laughs> no, that makes sense. And that's why I ask. Because I'm... People are... A lot of people are way smarter at this stuff than I am. Chuck. Good boy. Shiggy diggy 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 diggy. Look at him go. Chuck. And we out. See, that wasn't so bad. Oh, anyway. Oh, how you get the Mew in the first place? Um, how you get the Mew in the first place for Let's Go is you connect the Pokeball controller. They keep the box for that thing. I think it's you connect the controller and you say receive gift from, and then it'll be like, oh, here, hey, you ha you are playing with the Pokeball controller. Here is a Mew. So I'm just wondering if, like, every new account that uses the controller would get the event Pokemon. Or, if it is literally in there once, once it's pulled out, it is now an empty vessel. The the volume that says Pokemon, if it's flipped from, flip, Pokemon balls flipped from true to false, and Mew is no longer in this thing. Or, if it's literally, or if it's the opposite of that, and it doesn't have anything that says Mew is no longer available, or Mew is available to you if you are you playing with a specific controller. Yeah. I will try. If it would be something stupid like that, where it's just like you can get multiple Mews by making multiple accounts, I... I may take the time. I may take the time to sit down and just start and just start surprise trading out Mews. Just you get a Mew and you get a Mew. Oh, there it is. Everyone gets a Mew. I did that. I try. Well, at least before I got busy enough where I couldn't do that regularly, I tried to do that. Um, I try to do that where where I would try and just give away hard to get stuff. Um. Does Mew get one? Mew can have a Mew if, if Mew wants one.
Yep. Oh, a lonely executor. Boo. <laughs> I'm sorry. I tried using that thing. I had zero fun. Excuse me. Okay. And up and around. Stupid secret exit. <laughs> I actually think with that, we're done with secret exits. That was the last one. There's no more secrets. It. There's no more secrets. There's no more secrets. Look. Ace play. Oh, I'm just dead. <laughs> Good job. Just... A Zoro named Kokichi. It angers me a little bit, because I do see that little thing just going... <laughs> little tur child. How did I turn around midair? Exquisite performance. It's a lie. Or a ceiling would say. You can't spin jump that. Lesson learned. Okay, who are we kidding? Lesson not learned. I'm gonna i I'm gonna flop it up in like the next few seconds. Go. How do you make that? Is this where I is this where I break? Cause I'm one step closer to the edge, and I'm about to break everything you say to me. What? Uh huh. I made a mistake this day. I think we can finish this tonight. Two streams to finish up Super Mario World. Not all the dragon coins, but definitely all the exits. I'm weird with my names when I name Pokemon. It's either... I either name them... God, I even waited and everything. Uh, when I name my Pokemon, it's either one of two things. It's either I don't name my Pokemon, or I name them with random syllables. I just I just pick a letter and I go, okay, that one, and this vowel, and these couple of letters, and there we go. So sometimes my names sound Japanese. Sometimes they sound... They, sometimes they sound American. Ugh. Trying to think. Uh, 
Uh, what was... Uh, no, I'm not gonna get that cycle. I'm safe here, it's fine. Bye, Reznor. Like, just what I'm thinking off the top of my head. I don't even know if this is proper. I think I have to go back to Gen 7 and look that one up. Actually, don't I have... Is that what I put in my DS? Oh, the back door. How lovely. Uh, let me look at this. Was it Gen 7? Gen 6, was it? Yes, we have to do this for science right now. Wow! Demos for Kirby Planet Robobot, Tomodachi Life, and Yotob. How exquisite! Go away. Stop talking to me, system. I know what I'm on about. Fine's off, right? Yeah, it is. Excuse me. Did I name my team? I didn't I didn't name my team on this one. Right! That's what I was doing with Gen S oh, I remember what I was doing in Gen 7 once I finished my Pokedex. Okay. Turtle soup, anchors away for Delmise. Uh, I must have named some of these, right? No, I guess I didn't. All right, I've got the, I've got the the hat Pikachu in this in this game too. And all oh right, that's how this game worked. I have, that's how I got my Pokedex completely full in Gen Seven. I traded my spare Ultra Beast for my version to get the one from the from the other version. I remember now. Okay. Anyway, that's enough of that. Like, uh, I think I want to say. I want to say I named one of my. I want to say, like. Like, I want to say I did names like Koume and, like, so that song's Japanese and Sachi and then. You know, things like that. Just like I pick a, I pick a letter and then a vowel. And then everything just kind of flows from there. So it sounds like partially Japanese, but it's pronounceable. And then there's and there's other times when I get a Pokemon, like with my Turtonator, and I just name it Turtle Soup. Amazing. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Did it again. Um, in the, f I just realized for um, Noctowl? No, no, Noctowl. Ah, oh, what Decidui? There it is. For uh, Decidui, it just clicked. You know what? That mushroom's dead. Um, I just, it just clicked for me that if I, thanks to your name there, Shade, that if I had gotten a, uh, if I had gotten a female Decidui, I should, I should have named it, nicknamed it Kikio. Because I am trash that likes Inuyasha.
Okay, dokie. Oh, pfft. I was looking at the chat and I almost got myself squished. And I think the only reason I would name it Kikyo because ghost. See. <laughs> oh. <sh> <sighs> Kagome would only work if Decidueye wasn't part ghost upon uh, evolution. Like, I'm glad that he's in there. We're out here and that he's out there and that he's the sheriff and that we're frozen out here. And I just remember that he's frozen in there and, and all I want to know is where's the caveman? Mama Jelly, this, is, this isn't even a bit. This is even a bit less. I actually like I actually like Inuyasha. Like, I don't watch much anime. That's the one that's one of like three I like. Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't know what the Inuyasha games are. I know of a, a Inuyasha game. Just one. It's a PlayStation. It's a PlayStation One game, that was a fighting game. When fighting games were still all the rage. Uh, Feudal Fury, I think it is. Hold on. Because oddly enough, I won a fighting game tournament for that game. A blind fighting game tournament. Let me look it up. Oh god, nice and lovely. 2007 blurry ass image. So, it's just... It's just, a. Uh, it's just a printer paper stuck it's just printer paper of it stuck in like it's stuck in a frame but this is my trophy for winning a, a blind fighting game tournament of this game nobody knew how to play it but yeah it's a uh, a feudal fairy tale for the PlayStation. Um, I gotta look at the characters because I forget the, the names of some of them. There we go. Okay, so I remember the I remember the cast that I remember most of the cast of this game. You could play as Inuyasha Kagome, Moroku, Sango, Shippo. Sashomaru was unlockable. Uh, Kohaku. That's the that's who I think it is, right? No, it's not Kohaku. Uh, who is the wolf? Koga, that's who it is. You can play as Koga, who is unlockable, and Naraku was unlockable as well. It was like a cast of eight with, with unlockables. <laughs> Lord Fluff, Max Fluff. Okay, back to the game. Um, a focus are a focus is long enough to get that item. Holy cow! Help me.
I don't know if you have a Twitter. I would... Oh, there's a star. Well, we don't... Amazing. Um, I don't know if you have a Twitter. Because there's been a lot of times when I start streaming where I go to Twitter and I say, hey, what I say, you know, what should I play? And usually I'll pull out, put out a poll. I don't know if I'll remember playing the DS in the Usher game. And I'll be blunt. Emulating DS games is a possibility. It's not a hard thing to do. But I would say whenever uh, it pops up... Oh, give me this quick. Son of a... Bisquick. Nope. Damn it, I have to do it again. Hell with the star. We just go. Take the hit from a country and go. Like the, like, the reason we are playing Super Mario World tonight is because I went to Twitter and I said, Hey, what game play? And then people voted and, and it became Super Mario World. It's like, okay, we play Mario. We play Mario World. Uh. This is awkward. I'm taking my button going home. Ah, aha, aha. Aha, ha, 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 ha. That is a way out. I don't know if it's the way out, but it's a way out. <laughs> nope, don't go for anything else. Just get to the door. Damn it. Um, I was talking about something a second ago and then I got confused by the game. Now something that's very hard, mind you. I mean, this is me we're talking about. Okay, I think it's this door. I remember how to get out. Yeah, Inuyasha. We're talking about Inuyasha and that whole suggestion. Uh, yeah, suggestion on Twitter if you see me asking for games to play or put up a poll. <sighs> and I forgot what else I was going to talk about at that point. Bouncy lads. Them, they bouncy lads. Oh, I picked the wrong one. Okay. Enough of that. Enough of that jazz. Listen, I will not deny you, Shippo, best boy. Shippo is a good lad. But, um, I raise you this. I want, I, uh, can we get to the point where we have genetically modified anything so I can have a Kirara or Kilala? I would, help. I did the, I did the Japanese A or RL thing. Unironically. Well, that worked out in my favor. There we go. I remember I remember holding out for that bolt for something like that. Haha, -ha, bullet.
Surfing Pikachu. That takes me back to my old days. When surfing Pikachu was the thing in po- There's a shortcut here? When surfing Pikachu was a real thing in, that you could use in Pokemon Yellow. And if you happen to get that surfing Pikachu, you were overpowered. Damn it. I want to say I remember that, because I remember it was a big thing because Pokemon Yellow came out in the virtual console, and everybody's just like, oh. can we move, can we move it over to, can we move it over to, and, to Pokemon Yellow and play with the surfing Pikachu? And Tenna went, yes. Oh, son of a... Yeah, Nintendo went, mm, yes, you can. So we could actually play it. Legends speak of surfing Pikachu and how to obtain him, even if you had Pokemon, uh, if you had po uh, the right Pokemon game. Okay, that was fun. Sound left, I, I noticed, don't worry. Yoshi cannot eat rock. I think we've got the secret eggs in this one. We need to keep Yoshi. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, we're safe. Bye. Uh, Yoshi. I s saved it for half a second. Um. Yeah. Like, that was the big re- well. Other than hearing Pikachu- By the way, Pokemon Yellow came out right as the anime it was hitting, like, peak popularity. I guess, it first run peak popularity. Bye, nerd. And we got to enjoy on that eight bit on that eight bit brick of a system, we got to enjoy Pikachu talk to us. Which sounded akin which sounded akin to nails on chalk chalkboard. Oh, I made a mistake. I did not make a mistake this day. And Yoshi was to get the secret exit, but I don't think we need it. Ah yes, I loved walking around the fields, and it's like, oh hey, I can talk to my Pikachu. Hi, Pikachu. <laughs> I'm sorry, could you say it again? One more time for the microphone so I can actually hear what you said. Hey, I got one. Can I hit that? Nope. Okay. No, I have not. I have Super Mystery Dungeon, but I've not played it. I've not played more than like 45 minutes of it. It exists. Uh, did I pull out last time? No. I did not. I don't even remember what I got as my Pokemon for that. I can't remember if I stuck, stuck with what the game said my personality match, or if I said, oh, no, I don't want to be that. I want to be... I think I picked Bulbasaur. Listen, I am very loyal to my cabbage baby. Welcome to a new generation. You get to choose one of these three Pokemon. Okay. And later online, if you're if you're good enough, you get to choose a Candle Star Bulbasaur. 
But I didn't even tell I didn't even tell you how you acquired Bulbasaur. No, I'm personally not thinking about getting Mystery Dungeon DX. Okay, Kiza. That doesn't work that way, Scooter. Damn it, Koopa. Damn it, Magic Koopa, I need you. Let me out. Oh, hey, you heard my call. You spawned a thwimp, really? Damn it, right at the wall again. It's not to say that I don't that I don't think the games are good. That's something I should put right up front, is that I don't think the games are bad. It's just that I... It doesn't seem appealing to me. Or it is not appealing to me. I know everybody is very... Oh, God help me. Very gaga over those games. It's just not me. Camera, go away. Oh no! It's Iggy and his wrecking balls! Go away. Which is why, you know, when I when I record stuff, when I record those Think Fast videos or I bring up something to you guys in a video and I say like, you should get this game. I'm not like grabbing your arm and twisting and saying, you're buying this game! Uh, haven't heard it. Oh God, why was oh I know I'm tired. I didn't sleep for beans last night, and then I had to I had to go do a, a important adult things today. Maybe I'll actually sleep tonight when I go to bed for a change. Now I know back door Lily leads you to the darkened area. So let's do this. Let's have some fun with this. Let's get you guys in on the fun. Pick some numbers. Your choices are one through eight. I know what I want to do, because I am so used to doing the, these exact numbers always, but pick numbers one through eight. In the meantime, oh, Kami. I've been slowly replacing my shirts because I need shirts that actually fit me. But I love getting my shirts from Fan Gamer now because yeah, it's a little more expensive than T than T Fury and a lot of other places. But the thing is, the designs are way better. So we have three. I need somebody else to give me another number. Uh, five through eight for that other number. But here's the thing about this shirt that is also fun. 3-8. Alright, we'll go with that. There's an Isun on the arm. Just the little things Fan Gamer does with their shirts is amazing. Anyway. So, 3-8. I don't know. I don't know what these rooms are. I think I always would go. F I feel like I always went four eight. No, I think I always went three eight. Uh oh. A boop. Remember, in the corners of one of these, there's a feather. And then I think I went eight. Because it had all the chart, it was the charging chuck room, and it was the easiest path. Yep. Also because I get a lot of feathers this way. Oh God. How? You know what? 
I think that actually happened. I think you guys picked the way I normally go in Bowser's Fortress. That's hilarious. He's funny to me. Die. Okay. Try this again with less dumb. Amplified dumb. Like we're just billowing at the top at the top of the stairs that I are stupid. I hurt my boot. How the hell? Cartoon Network was weird when it, when it first when it first launched. Just literally had the odd couple dynamic with that show. <laughs> round and round I go, where I stop, not a soul will know. No. Oh, he ready. Oh, he was ready. And this is where the back door dumps you out. Oh, no. I'm sorry, we don't... Sorry, we don't play lame games. We, we play... Fun games. Like... This. I can see perfectly fine. I bet you can too on Twitch. Ninjies! Like the only time they appear in the game. No, Disco Party cancelled. What are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it? Oh, he did something. Okay, gotta make a Koopa. Oop, oop, that's not the one. Yep. Noted. Here, hold this. Here, hold that L2, King. Shy guy. It's a sh it's, he's a shy guy. Listen, the the lonely Goomba is a very is a very Steel hardy. That's steel hardy. What's the word I want to give to describe Goomba? Oh, shoot. Oh, well, we get to do another cycle of balls. Mmm, more balls! Listen, Goomba developed telepathy so he can play games with, with the big boys. Oh, amazing. Just keep kicking it so I can get on the next cycle.
Bowser, I have fallen every level. Can we finish this this sh charade now? Okay, cool, thanks. Nah, foolhardy's not the word. It's I don't know. I don't know what the word is. It's a big word. But Goomba's a good lad. And he got his own amiibo that every single person likes. Every single person likes. I think you can reach him here. Hold on. I'm gonna stand my lanky ass up. See, look, that's a good boy. That is an entire good boy. <laughs> He's just standing there. Shy guy didn't get into me, though. At least as far as I'm aware, Shy Guy didn't get an amiibo. Ugh. While the credits play out, I'll go to do a go do an El Goog. I really didn't close that tab? Scooter, what's wrong with you? Also, I have no idea how much you saw my desktop. No, there's no shy guy amiibo. There's mock-ups online of what it would of what it would look like in fan makeups, but there's no actual shy guy amiibo. Uh, I was like, wait, what did I do? I went back to Twitter and I saw an 8 matches like, what happened? did you see? <clears throat> okay. Uh, I think I've shown you guys the shelf. Like in videos, I've shown the shelf, right? 
Like, I can't move the camera close enough to the shelf to, like, show the amiibo, but, like, I've got the amiibo shelf. I've, I've, I've got all the amiibo at this point. God help me. And I've still got at least another... I got another 11 to get with the DLC for Smash. Oh, the Mario cereal? Well, give me a minute. We're just going to talk for a minute over this. Hold on. Can I get this out? Ah, yes. The predicament that is the Mario. The, the ridiculous figure that is the, the Mario cereal, and that it is technically an amiibo. It's in my collection. Oh, where is it? It's literally just a sticker. So, you see this right here? You see that A right there? That's an active amiibo. What does it do? It gives you five coins in Super Mario Odyssey. That's all it does. You spent four dollars for five coins in Super Mario Odyssey. Woo! I mean, yeah, the cereal is there, but I'm, I'm just going to tell you bluntly. It's Lucky Charms. It's literally Lucky Charms. In fact, it's slightly bootleg Lucky Charms. Alright. We're going to do this. Oh, so these aren't Amiibo, so I've taken them down. So we're going to do this quick. We're going to gather up. Uh, frosted Cheerios with marshmallows. I'm getting amiibos. Rare rarer ones. Okay, that's probably enough. I'm keeping my back to you and my butt to you. Just so I can do this. Ah. That's one more I can get, but I'll leave it up there. I'll just say I have it. Oh. No. 
Alright, so the last few minutes of the stream is me flexing. And I got Squirtle up there. Oh, right. The... These two. Three, I should say. Yep. So... Let me just start off by showing one. So I'm ridiculous in the fact that I get all Amiibo. Even the ones that are Japan exclusive. I have... All six Amiibo tied to Monster Hunter Stories. A game that never came out in the States. And a game, a game series I hadn't played until about a month ago. Rathian. A dude riding a Rathian. Oh, it did? Well, I'm unaware. I don't have this game myself, but... Detective Pikachu. Which... This is, this is, outside of Yarn Yo Mega Yarn Yoshi, this is the biggest amiibo. I don't have the game. Put these back up, because I have kind of a system with all my amiibo. And I'm slightly OCD. Slightly. Alright, let's do this. So hey, how about a gold Mario? How about another gold Mario? How about another gold Mario? They came back into circulation. I went to Best Buy every day after work. Because, well, because they were so rare. But I went back to work. I went to the my local Best Buy every day after work. To pick them up because they were, twelve, you know, it's the standard, thirteen dollars a piece. So I grabbed, t t I grabbed, one. Went back the next day. They had more in stock. I grabbed another one, because they limited to one purchase per customer. Per day. Also, here's the ironic thing: because they had that. Well, I should say, this gold Mario, this gold Mario that's outside of his case. This, I'm going to do this, just so you can see it's a real deal, not anything weird. This one is a Japanese one. They were selling it for five US dollars, and I paid the shipping to have a gold, Mar a gold Mario that badly, not knowing there was re-releasing happening. Would you want to know what the ironic thing is? Because they re-released the gold Mario, that's no longer, that's no longer... The, that's no longer the rarest amiibo. The Silver Mario is the rarest amiibo. Let's see. Uh, I will say I picked. I do have the make the three pack of. I have the three pack for Shovel Knight. I have base Shovel Knight and gold Shovel Knight. Uh, we have gold Mega Man. Uh, much like you, Shade. Even though the green screen is killing him. Uh, this is, we have Mega Yarn Yoshi. He's so fluffy. We also have an entire friend, Poochie. Yarn Poochie, I should say, but Poochie.
This one's the rarest because it was exclusive to GameStop and nobody bought it because everybody who bought this game got it on PC and not on Switch, but Loot Goblin Amiibo. And once again, when I say I buy everything, when I, once again, when I say I buy even the ones that are only available in Japan, I mean I buy the ones that are only available in Japan. I have a QB Amiibo. In fact, this I'm holding in my hand right here cost me $50. This is that entire box boy set that released in Japan, the collector's edition. It has QB. It has the QB Amiibo. It has the game, which I can't play because region locking. And it has the soundtrack, which I could play because that's not region locked. <laughs> the funny thing about this one actually and that's it, by the way. That's all the rare ones I'm going to pull out to show off with. But the funny thing about this one is I went to go buy this, and I could only find Amazon. My choices were just the Amiibo for $51, or this entire package that I can't use anything else in it for $53. I don't think it's rare. It's just that it was GameStop only. It was made by... There's another company besides just Blizzard Entertainment. Where is that company? Cute but deadly. There we go. Oh, and here's the fun thing about this. This is one of the few Amiibo that you don't have to worry about taking out of its box. Because, yeah, it's got the sensor on the bottom, but, like, pop, pop. Yep. Look, it's out, it's out, it's out. Okay, it's right back in. And snap. Snip, snap. And right back in the box. Put it on a shelf. You can sell that again. Uh, that was a fun little sh tour. Um, but yeah, I got nothing else. I mean, we we beat Super Mario World. This is it. it. I can't do anything. Mario's tripping balls. I have Diablo 3 on my Switch as well. I barely played it, though, on Switch. I don't have it on PC, which is ironic. Sounds like snack time. Eh. Not sure if I want snack time. I kind of... Okay. Let me get a feel for them. I can... If you want me to... If you if it would help, I might start up a straw poll. For, you know what? I'll start up a straw poll for this. And... I'm not trying to call out lurkers, but hey, lurkers. Uh, you can pitch on this one because this is kind of a big shift. And this will probably only be like another hour at most. We'll do it tonight. As I mentioned a while ago, I wanted to hit the lab with a little bit in Dragon Ball Fighters. Now, I'm not going to force this on you guys. I'm going to make this all your thing. So, create poll. Oh, next season started. All right, if you're talking about Diablo, if next season starts this month, of course, because it's every that's that happens every month. But um, excuse me. But if you're talking about Dragon Ball Fighters, it's already started. Kefla out. Anyway, share, not share, results. You can have that to look at. Uh, 
Oh, okay. See, I got friends who play the PC version. And they spent, and I don't know if they've fallen off of it, but it seems like every month they spend like one or two days playing and then they just stop. And anyway, I'm going to put all this stuff away now. Look at my butt. It's right there in your face. Ha ha ha. Dead booty though. Uh. So yeah, everybody get your votes in. Um, I'm going to turn off this. There we go. And I'm going to do some maintenance on my end with it. But, if we do play Dragon Ball Fighters a little bit, I'm just going to go into the lab and just try out characters for a little bit, see who I like, you know, kind of mess around with some stuff. I'm not going to spend like, three hours on characters like a lot of people do. I just want to mess around with the characters I haven't even touched and see if I would like to use them on a potential team. And maybe even test out the characters that I do use. Because I don't think Nappa got touched. Krillin got hella buffed. And I haven't seen Dominic go just go off when it came to using Majin Buu, so. I might put Buu back in my team over Yamcha. Yamcha? Fucking Yamcha? Really? Alright, so let's, so... You got only a couple more seconds to vote on this. If you're indifferent, that's fine. You don't have to vote. But if you... I'll tell you right now, if you say no, stream ends. <laughs> that's that's all that's really going to happen is the stream will end. <laughs> uh, I was on at least since the beginning of the year because I was at the same time as a special event. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm assuming it's in like C. Was it season twenty seven now? Something like that. Because I know when I played, when I did my video for it, I think it was in season twenty three. Oh well. I imagine they'll get up to season thirty and then they'll trickle off because Diablo four time. Lol. Oh. Then I'm way off. <laughs> also, I've been... Okay, I've been seeing this float around. I've been seeing these float around here for a couple days, and it's gotten really annoying recently. These banned Presto ads. Because... Actually, I could probably turn this off. 